Welcome to the next episode in this series of short video tutorials on how to digitize with Singer's Professional Sewwear Deluxe Embroidery Software, known as PSW Deluxe. My name is Tanya Owens, and I will be your guide through this series. In this tutorial, you will have the opportunity to put into practice all of the skills you have used. This is an intermediate level tutorial. I recommend that you watch the following videos, Activating the Digitizing Mode, PSW Deluxe Freeform Tool, PSW Deluxe Column Tool, PSW Deluxe Geometric Tools, and PSW Deluxe Magic Wand Tool, as well as PSW Deluxe Embroidery Settings, Lettering 101, and Lettering 201 frames before watching this tutorial, as this tutorial assumes you know and understand the basics before attempting to digitize a design. We will be digitizing a yellow smiley face. If you would like to follow along with this video, you can download the artwork by clicking the link in the description below. We will be digitizing artwork to fit into the small hoop. Now that you know the basic, let's digitize a design from the start. First, you need to open the image to digitize. The image serves as a backdrop and provides something to go by. Click on the Create menu and then click on Import Image. Select the image you want to digitize. In this case, we will select the smiley face file named Smiley. Click the small dimensions button towards the bottom of the window. Put in the dimensions you want the image to be. In this case, we will make the image two inches wide. Click OK on the dimensions box and then OK on the open window. The image will appear on the screen. The order things are digitized are the order they will sew. First, we will create the yellow part of the image. Click on the Colors button, then sample the color of the artwork by clicking on the yellow part of the image. You can use either the Ellipse tool or the Freeform tool to create the circle. For this illustration, we will use the Freeform tool. The Fill method will be Normal Fill. We need to make sure the embroidery settings are set correctly for normal fill. Right click and click on embroidery settings. Adjust the settings that will work best. In this case, we will set the underlay values, the density, and under the stitch type tab, we will adjust the stitch length. Of course, if you are unsure how to set these values, you can always use the preset fabric settings. Click Apply, then click the X in the top corner to close the embroidery settings window. Click around the outside edges of the yellow part of the image. When finished, right click and click on Stitch It. There are two different ways to input a border around the outside of the yellow portion of the circle. We can either go to the edit menu and change the embroidery settings of the yellow block to add an automatic outline of the shape, or we can use the freeform tool to create a satin line around the outside of the circle. Before starting, click the colors button and change the color to black and click OK. Select the Freeform tool and then change the fill method to Satin Line. To set the width of the satin line, right click and click on Embroidery Settings. Set the column width to the desired width. Click around the edge of the yellow area to make the satin border. Normally, the satin line and the running stitch line are opened. To make the ends of the line closed, right click and uncheck the Open Curve selection. Then click Stitch It. Next, we will make the mouth. Click on the Column tool. Begin on the left side of the mouth. Click the Zoom icon and then click and drag a box around just the mouth. Click on one side of the column to be created, and then the other. Continue to put in the lines to make the left side of the mouth. Then, right-click 
and click on Stitch It. You will want to connect the center part of the mouth to the outside edge of the mouth. This means we need to change the end point of the side column to line up with the next column. Click on the Edit icon and make sure Edit Outlines is selected. Click on Edit Type drop-down list and select Entry Exit. Click on the exit point and move it until it is even with where the next column will begin. Right click and click on Stitch It. Click on the digitizing button and once again select the column tool. Create the bottom of the mouth. When you have finished, right click and click on Stitch It. Create the right side of the mouth with the column tool as well. The start point will be placed at one end of the column. Click on Edit and move the start point to be even with the column from the bottom of the mouth. The eyes can be created with either the column tool or the freeform tool. Since the column tool is already selected, we will use it. Using the scroll bar on the side of the screen, scroll up until you see the eyes. Once you create the left eye, click Stitch It. There is no need to create the second eye. We can just copy and paste the first one. Click the Digitize button to exit Digitize mode. Now click on the Tools menu and click on Block List. Locate the eye in the block list and click on it. Embroidery Studio puts a wireframe around the eye on the screen. Point to the eye and right click and click on Copy. Now right click and click on Paste. Point to the middle of the highlighted object and click and drag it to its proper position. Then right click and click on Apply. Click the Fit to Screen icon to see the whole design on the screen. Congratulations! You have just digitized the smiley face. Now let's add some lettering to it. Click the lettering icon and type the text, Have a nice day. For this illustration, we will use the font Block Small. Select the upper arch frame from the frame types. Point to the center of the circle and click and drag the arch frame to the center of the design. Click on the node at the top of the inner circle to change the size to fit it around the outside of the smiley face. Then resize the letters to an appropriate size. When the lettering looks right, right click and click on Stitch It. Before a design is sewn, always be sure to center it. Click on the Design menu and click on Center Design. Then click OK. Congratulations, your design has now been created. Be sure to save your design. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. There are additional videos in this series, so please check my channel to view those videos. I have also written an in-depth guide called Digitizing with PSW Deluxe Embroidery Software that contains greater detail than is in these videos. You can purchase this guide from my website at www.tanyaowens.com slash pswdeluxe. That information is also in the description below. Until next time, happy digitizing. Thank you.